Hello, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to prepare ceviche with marik and we are going to do it in the traditional Peruvian way. Ceviche is one of the oldest traditional dishes we have in Peru. This is a dish that has not changed that much in our different historic epochs but we had added also some foreign ingredients into the recipe that we love nowadays in Peru so but the technique to cook the ceviche is still pretty much the same uh, to the original back in the pre-hispanic times so ceviche is a dish that was originated in the coast of America, South America, Central America, and also uh, there is a variant of ceviche that is native to the Philippines, and it is called quinilao. But in the way of preparation, it is very, very similar to the American ceviche. So there are different variants of ceviche in America. Today we will show you the Peruvian style, which is possibly the most simple in a form of preparation and in number of ingredients, uh, and also is known to be very, very delicious. So uh, the ingredients you will be needing is, first of all, fish. You need a fish that has white skin, white meat, if you get one that is greasy, for example, or has dark spots, it has a strong flavor, it will not be cooked properly by the key line. For example, mahi-mahi is a good option, or solid fish could be a good option for uh, preparing ceviche. So basically you need to choose a type of fish that is first of all from the sea, not river fish, and also with not dark spots because that changes the flavor. The way we cut the fish is usually in small like diet size of cuts. So not too big, not too small. We don't need to do it too small because it is going to be cooked chemically by the key lime. The key lime is an acid, so it will be cooked without fire. If it's too small, it is going to be dissolved too fast. And the idea is that once it's ready, well, you will take your time to eat it, so it needs to stay like, in the process of cooking for a while. Hmm? So as you can see, we are cooking, we are cutting, sorry, the fish in a small pieces and we are going later to put it on a bowl and add the killer. So it is necessary of course to, um, to use a fish that is fresh from the day. We in Peru are very lucky, especially along the coast of Peru, of having fresh fish, cheap fresh fish every day. That is a very important part of our diet, the fish. We know that this is not a common thing everywhere around the world, but we are lucky enough, fortunate enough to enjoy fresh fish always. So basically, in the coast of Peru, our diet is based on fish and chicken. So next we are going to put the pieces of fish in a bowl. So this is not really that much fish. The, the presentation we are having for you, the amount we are preparing for you is for two dishes, two plates of ceviche. So uh, this is the chili, 
limo is one of the many different types of chilies we have in Peru. They have different sizes, different uh, levels of intensity in the, in the heat uh, of, of the chili. So this is the one we use in the ceviche. The Peruvian corn, as you know, is big. It's one of the biggest variants of corns that exist in the world. And you can see sweet potatoes. We have a yellowish or orangey color sweet potato, and the other one is purple. So um, they are different in the appearance and also in the flavor. In Peru, we have lots of different potatoes. I hear that there are about 4,000 types of them. And uh, every year, the number changes. So the reason why we like to use sweet potato is because at the end, this dish is very hot. So you will be needing that. And also, we use onions, as you can see, red onions. Mm, so the red onion cut in little uh, long pieces is the perfect way for a good presentation of a ceviche. Mm, so by the way, the onion is not pre-cooked or fried, it's just raw. In this little cup, you can see the um, key lime juice. This is the key lime juice of seven limes. The Peruvian lime or key lime is very acid, very powerful. It cooks uh, the fish almost right away. So since this moment, it is being cooked, the fish, and we are also adding the chili, this limo chili. Possibly in your countries, you will be able to find some variants of the chili that can help you to prepare properly the ceviche. Hmm? But if you find the limo chili, well, you have to buy it. It might not be cheap, but it gives a very important flavor the final touch to the ceviche. We have add also salt, pinch of salt. The uh, amounts are not strict. They are not measured strictly. You can do as you wish in terms of the final touches. And what we have put is the uh, a little touch of cilantro. Uh, and it is now in the process of being cooked, this uh, ceviche. As you can see, it is little by little changing the color of the fish. It will not take much. In most of the cevicheria restaurants, it takes only five to eight minutes to be cooked. And we are talking about portions even much bigger. Mm -hmm. You can see how the fish is turning whitish, and that is because superficially the key lime is cooking the fish. This is a very fresh dish that we love to have in summertime, for example, when we go to the beach. There are usually many stands that offer uh, this dish made right in front of you. It's a very cheap dish for us, but you can also find it in fancy restaurants. We also know that in the pre-Hispanic times, the men, the fishermen, used to eat a type of ceviche, uh, ceviche but cooked with the acid fruits because we had no uh, key lime back then. So now we're going to taste the level of saltiness and acidity of the liquid that you see in the bottom. And that liquid is called leche de tigre or tiger's milk. Uh, that uh, juice that you see there in the bottom is a 
very very strong flavored juice that is known to be an aphrodisiac so now we present the ceviche on top of the onions that were cut as you know in slices very long and the boiled sweet potatoes we have the two different sweet potatoes there and the corn the peruvian corn boiled so once we taste it mm -hmm, really good this is the traditional flavor as you can see very very simple to be made it doesn't need too long to be cooked uh, as I said before the key line cooks the fish in about 5 to 10 minutes max that's the amount of time you need to have the fish ready and as you can see in this video the fish has turned into a more whitish color this is because it's cooked already this is one of the many dishes we will be sharing with you one of the many traditional Peruvian recipes we have that we want to share with you all guys from around the world Peru has turned into a culinary destination especially Lima our city in the last decade so we are trying to honor the reputation of our country sharing with the world some of the traditional recipes and also with the intention that you could replicate them if, if possible whatever you live so um, well we would love you to help us with a like and share this video if you like it we are also offering more uh, videos every week for our followers not just related with food also with other topics related with culture and history of peru and if you want to support us and you found interesting the content of our channels uh, there is a way of course to do it besides commenting sharing and liking we are now on patreon possibly you've heard about it patreon is a platform where artists painters musicians are sharing their creativity with the world and also receiving support from uh, kind people from around the world that <laughs> are trying to help them to keep going you know the tourism has been terribly affected around the world in 2020 so uh, we are trying to continue uh, keep going and also we are trying to still do what we love which is being tour guides and ambassadors of our country to the world so if you want to support us i'm going to be leaving the Patreon links of Marek in Polish and mine, my name is Vanessa, in English for um, a little bit more information about what we offer in exchange of your support. Mm? So we wish you enjoy this video and please uh, give us ideas for the next videos if you want to get the recipe of another dish or if you would like us to take you into a museum or a place in Lima or even Peru just let us know below we would love to be your guides in this country uh, it could be by person or virtually on videos and also uh, online so it's been a pleasure to have you thank you very much for your support and until the next time bye bye